Okay. Got it? Yeah. Uh, prepare to grill. First, the first thing we do. We always start by scrubbing down the grill. Um, temperature is very important to us. Uh, typically, a lot of people uh, will have a high flame. And typically what that does is it burns your meat before it actually cooks. So we kind of use a medium flame. Uh, we always season our, our meats first and our uh, grill as well too. Uh, so what we'll do here is we'll do a couple of things. We have uh, steak. Our steak is uh, marinated and um, kind of trim the fat on it. One of the things uh, to reduce flare up is to minimize the fat on the, on the steaks. Trim this up. Reduce flare up. You want to leave a little bit of fat on, on your on your steak, but not, not too much. This is a New York sirloin steak. It's been marinated in uh, oil, garlic, fresh herbs overnight. What that does is it imparts a, a good amount of flavor to it. Uh, we then season our meat. Salt and pepper. And you can do one of two things. You can um, Oil, oil your grill first, or you can use a uh, pan or some kind of uh, you know some kind of spray with that. One of one of the two is fine. Basically, with the spray here, you want to you want to coat it. The, the, the whole key for grilling is, is not to have your meats, your fish, your chicken to kind of stick to the grill. So you want to oil your meats as well as oiling your grill. And you can do it with oil. You can do it with pan. You could uh, put it on on a, a towel. Do it this way. Or you can do it this way as well, too. With the grill, I have it um, on medium, and then I have one side of it on off. And essentially, that gives us a little um, a little play. If there's flare-up, we can then kind of remove your steak and put it off to the side and let the flare-up reduce, uh, go down. Uh, when you do see flare-up, what it does is it'll impart a black, smoky, kind of oily kind of effect to the meat, which is not not very good in terms of flavor. So we have steak, we have a hamburger here. We use all natural beef, uh, black Angus, all natural free of uh, antibiotics and hormones and so on. Grass fed beef. And uh, you want to you want to you know salt and pepper your your burger before you put it on the grill. And you don't want to add any oil to this. If you do maybe a touch, uh, because there's a lot of fat in there, there's gonna be there's gonna, you're gonna add more flair up to it. Put the burger on. Here, a healthy version of burgers, a turkey burger. We make our own turkey burgers here as well, too. And this is a little challenging. This here, what we do in the restaurant is actually we kind of uh, sear it off first, and then we put it on the grill because it's very, very soft. Um, if you put turkey on there, if, if it's not um, very, very tight, it'll, it'll kind of break apart. So we kind of sear it off in a saute pan first, get it solidified, and then we'll put the grill marks on that. So we can do that later on as well if you want. That, and then you talk about kebabs. Yeah. And we have uh, made here a couple of shrimp kebabs. And what we did here is we have uh, shrimp, a little, uh, you know, peppers, red, yellow, green peppers, a little pearl onions, and we kind of we marinated it. Uh, put kebabs, you put any, any of your favorite items on there, mushrooms, peppers, any, anything that you like, kind of alternate it. Uh, we season this to send the shrimp with uh, cilantro, some ginger, some fresh oil, a little uh, roasted red peppers. We kind of marinate that. It, really, the key in grilling is trying to marinate it, try to add flavor, part flavor, so it, it, you know, it, it enhances the flavor. Uh, typically, with these uh, skewers, uh, you want to soak them in water first. This reduces the amount of uh, the skewer actually burning. And then what we also do is we, we get some foil, put foil on the grill, and we'll, we'll cover the, uh, the stick so the stick doesn't, doesn't burn on, on the One thing you notice is that once I put the uh, the meat on, I kind of leave it. I, I don't I don't touch it. So as you can see, the aluminum foil uh, reduces the, the the stick from burning. All right. So coming closer with meat. Um, with the burger, we're not going to touch the burger until you start to see the kind of the blood kind of uh, pop up a little bit, brown, brown around the edges over here. 
then it's then it's time to uh, to flip the burger. With the sirloin, we'll kind of peek at it. We start to see the lines. I don't know if you can see the lines. Once we see we have nice marks, we'll kind of mark it on the other side like that. We do kind of a crisscross kind of marking on it um, for for the steak. So you see, it's, it has nice markings on it, and it's, it's not the flame is not super high. It's on medium, which uh, enables us to uh, get nice color on the outside and then cook it on the inside. So these are our three items today. We have a burger, our steak, and then the shrimp. Burger two, we kind of lift up a little bit if we want. Burger, burger needs a little more time. What typically people do is they kind of get the burger, flip it over, flip it over again, flip it over, um, smash it down. When you're smashing it down, you're taking all the juices out of out of your burger. It's not a very moist uh, burger. Nice fat content, and the burger is very very nice because it gives you a nice flavor and gives you gives you a nice moist product. Um, to go with that is we have a uh, what we do is we have a bunch of condiments to go with it. I mean, what typically with uh, barbecues today is you can do a nice little um, uh, barbecue bar with all of uh, different kind of components. Whatever ingredients you like. Here we have we have three different types of uh, burger components that we do upstairs in the kitchen in the restaurant, but we have a chipotle burger. Uh, where we have a chipotle mayonnaise, uh, some uh, jalapeno tomatoes, a little guacamole, a little tortilla chips for a garnish. We also do, we call here a Sam burger, where we have some chopped arugula, match uh, stick french fries, tomatoes, our special sauce that we make here, and balsamic onions. And then for the turkey burger, we would have uh, brie, cranberry, uh, mayo, red onions, and then some sweet potato fries. So this is something where you can have on your, on your buffet table and your guests can then kind of pick and choose whatever, whatever ingredients, whatever they like for their uh, burgers. Kind of build your own. A lot of times you're just kind of taking a little peek. You know, if there's a tip, you just want you don't want to commit to something. You want to take a little peek, see if you got the grill marks there, then you kind of flip it over that way. Get a nice grill mark. Same thing with the burger. Take a look at it. We'll turn this over. What we tend to do is we try to get spatulas with long handles so that we're not we're not burning burning our fingers here. Uh, makes it a lot easier to work with. Um, the burger there we use uh, we have pastry brushes here, long stem pastry brushes. I mean, with, with, your, um, with your steaks, you can also season them and baste them if you want. We have, uh, to go with the steak today, we have a nice uh, barbecue onion, and then we have a whole house made steak sauce. You can do one of two ways. You can save this as a condiment and keep the, uh, the, the steak kind of uh, by itself and you use it as a garnish, or you can incorporate the flavor. And probably towards the uh, last part of your cooking process is then to add, add your flavor to it, add your seasoning to it. We do a barbecue sauce with the, with the burger to impart some more uh, flavor to it. Give it a, a nice, a nice flavor. The shrimp here, you know, you want some nice, nice grill marks, nice golden brown kind of color. We flip it over here. Without the aluminum foil, you can see it start to get very black over here, start to burn. There you go, nice, nice, beautiful golden brown. See, and you, and you can get this effect. This is this is what you want to do with grilling. Is you want a nice golden color. You don't want to impart that black kind of burnt kind of flavor to it because it gets a very bitter flavor to it. See around the edges here, you start to see the blood start to kind of bleed out of the burger a little bit, start to brown up around the sides. A couple more minutes to be ready to turn over. We got a nice grill mark over there going on. Now if this flame was on high all the way, it would be black already, it would already, already be burnt. So we have three different, let's say you want to, you want to serve the food all at the same time. We have three different products here uh, with three different cooking temperatures. Uh, the steak is, is then you, you shrimp here uh, probably much will be done first your steak second and then your burger last uh, so you can cook things kind of like three quarters away and the reason why i shut off one part of the grill is i could then let uh, the product rest still keep warm and then kind of let it rest on the side over here there's a thing called carryover cooking and it'll continue to cook while it's hanging out on the side there so now the shrimp is waiting for your steak and waiting for your burger the steak is ready to uh, turn over as well A couple of 
Simmons, with Bernie. Obviously.